Forecasters say the worst flooding in North Carolina is still ahead, as record rainfall from the weekend moves downstream, river by river. About 70 miles northwest of Wilmington, the town of Lumberton sits on the Lumber River, and people there know its power. Two years ago, Hurricane Matthew flooded homes across the county, one of the poorest in the state. Still, faced with a new storm, some in Lumberton chose to wait it out where they were. Just pull it tight. Yeah, I think you got it. I've been here now since 1975, in this same place. You know, from 75 until 2016, you never really, you know, I never thought about flooding. But today, that's one of the first things that comes to my mind. If you know from experience that your house can flood, because it has flooded, yes. why did you decide to stay? Because today I think we are more prepared for this flooding. Okay, well, let's do this. So we as a family are going to be right here. See, it's standing right here, and it's going up under that. Oh, yeah, I got the scissors. This morning we woke up, we had light. About eight, no light. So now we know. We're, we'll probably be out of lights until next week sometime. Or you know, it could be longer. Don't even expect the form to come on. This is 1077 Jams, continuous coverage of Hurricane Florence. Stay connected at 910-323-5047. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this food. Thank you for um, protecting us. And we just thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. What we're trying to do is build a containment wall of concrete barriers, dirt, sandbags, to hold back the waters that we know are gonna try and come through here with the river level that they're telling us we're gonna have. It's now late Saturday afternoon. It's been raining since late Thursday night. How does it look at the moment? The river is rising very rapidly, much more rapidly than anybody thought. They were anticipating that it was gonna kinda of top out tomorrow night. It looks like that's probably going to happen earlier in the day tomorrow. How do you feel about your ability to stop water from coming over and flooding the city like it did before? Mother nature is mother nature. If it blows it out, we've made all the pre preparations that we can for it to not be as bad as Matthew. My thing is in the morning, when the water's here and it starts seeping in, then will we be able to get anywhere, you know what I mean? Like, now we're safe, we're fine, everything's good, even though the rest of the city is in turmoil. Now, Mom, what you think? It's your call. If, I mean, you want to go, we can take Cali. I would go to Gerald if we could get in those roads. They say, if you're going, you got to go. Like, I mean, we have about 15 minutes to make a decision. It's Sunday morning, and we got word that the family ended up deciding to evacuate to a relative's place nearby. We're on our way right now to go see how they're doing. You said you weren't going to leave. What made you decide to leave? Well, the law. What do you mean? They, did a, um, they told us that we had a mandatory evacuation. Are you worried about going back to the home? I'm just... What you might find? Yeah, that's, yeah. Yeah, yeah basically, because you, know, you don't know what you might find. When do you think you're going to end up back at your house? I want to say this week. I came here to check on the Lumber River. It's what floods homes in Lumberton when there are major storms like Hurricane Matthew, like Hurricane Florence. It starts to have minor flooding at 13 feet, major flooding at 19 feet. It's at 24 right now, and it's expected to be at 26 by tomorrow morning. The levee protections that were put up by Corey and the team at Public Works have already broken, and the levee has almost broken, too. Do you have a sense of how much of Lumberton is flooded right now? Probably around a third of Lumberton is flooded at the moment. The river's forecast to stay at this level of flooding for almost another week. It's a marathon, and we're nowhere close to the end of it. A lot of people left after Matthew 
there's going to be even more people leaving after this, I think. So, we did sandbag this store. I don't know if it did us any good or not. Yeah, this smell is bad. There's anything down here on this floor has got to go. I don't know what all this mess is. All this got to go. Well, what would it take for you to leave this house if this keeps happening? Oh, my God. I don't think we were leaving. Get the water out, start over. <laughs> <laughs>